Today, the Buzz will present the list of all U.S. military naval vessels that will be decommissioned this year in 2023. This video is brought to you by Aura. More about this at the end of the video. USS Chicago SSN 721 She is a Los Angeles-class submarine, the fourth ship of the United States Navy. She was commissioned on 27 September 1986 and is out of service on 24 January 2023. Chicago has been awarded many units in her service life, which includes the Navy Unit Commendation, three Meritorious Unit Commendations and four Navy E-Ribbon Submarine Squadron Battle E's. USS Key West SSN 722 She is a Los Angeles-class submarine. It is the third ship of the United States Navy, and she was commissioned on 12 September 1987. In 2007, Key West was named Battle E for Comsubron 3, given to the best submarine in its squadron, awarded the Arleigh Burke Trophy for the most improved sea command in the Pacific. Her decommissioning date was on 28 February 2023. The USS San Jacinto CG-56 She is a Ticonderoga-class cruiser in the United States Navy. She is named for the Battle of San Jacinto, the decisive battle of the Texas Revolution. She was launched on 11th November 1986 and commissioned 23rd January 1988. She had received the Navy Unit Commendation Award. She is scheduled for decommissioning this year in 2023. The USS Lake Champlain CG-57 She is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser in the United States Navy. She is the third ship to be named Lake Champlain in honor of the Battle of Lake Champlain, which took place during the War of 1812. She is scheduled for decommissioning this year in 2023. USS Bunker Hill CG-52 She is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser of the United States Navy. During her service, she had received many awards such as the Combat Action Ribbon, Navy Unit Commendation, Navy Meritorious Unit Commendation, Battle Effective Award, Southwest Asia Service Medal, Humanitarian Service Medal, and Coast Guard Unit Commendation. USS Mobile Bay CG-53 She is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser serving in the United States Navy. She is named for the Naval Battle of Mobile Bay during the American Civil War in 1864, and she was commissioned on 21st February 1987. Like the USS Bunker Hill, she too has received many awards. She is scheduled for decommissioning this year in 2023. The last of the Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser to be decommissioned this year is the USS Vicksburg CG-69. She entered service with the U.S. Navy in 14th November 1992. Vicksburg is featured prominently in the 2012 naval thriller Fire of the Raging Dragon by Don Brown. She had received meritorious awards during her time. USS Milwaukee LCS-5 She is a Freedom-class littoral combat ship of the United States Navy. She is the fifth ship to be named for the city of Milwaukee. In 2021, the Navy decided against decommissioning Milwaukee alongside several other older Freedom-class ships due to Milwaukee's active testing of a new anti-submarine mission package. USS Wichita LCS-13 She is a Freedom-class littoral combat ship of the United States Navy. The ship was acquired by the U.S. Navy from Lockheed Martin and the Marinette Marine Shipyard on 22 August 2018. Wichita is one of the Freedom-class ships the U.S. Navy is intending to decommission in the year 2023 financial year. USS Billings LCS-15 This Freedom-class littoral combat ship of the United States Navy was commissioned on 3rd August 2019. The 2019 CRS report stated that the LCS program had been controversial due to the past cost growth, design and construction issues with the first LCS, with concerns about the class's survivability, armament and whether it would be able to perform its stated mission set effectively. USS Indianapolis LCS-17 She is a Freedom-class littoral combat ship of the United States Navy. Indianapolis was commissioned in a ceremony at Burns Harbor, Indiana on 26 October 2019. As of March 2020, Indianapolis is billeted to act in the Mine Countermeasures MCM role. This year it will be decommissioned. 
USS Saint Louis LCS-19. She is a Freedom Class littoral combat ship of the United States Navy. The ship was christened and launched on 15 December 2018. She was commissioned on 8 November 2020 and is assigned to littoral combat ship Squadron 2 and is scheduled for decommissioning this year in 2023. USS Hurricane PC-3, which is the third of the cyclone class of United States Navy coastal patrol ships, named for various weather phenomena. She was commissioned on 15 October 1993 at Naval Air Station North Island, San Diego, California. She is scheduled for decommissioning this year in 2023. USS Monsoon PC-4, she is the fourth cyclone class patrol ship. She was commissioned on 22 January 1994 by the United States Navy. She was decommissioned on 1 October 2004 and loaned to the United States Coast Guard as USCGC Monsoon WPC-4. She was returned to the U.S. Navy on 22 August 2008. Now she will be out of service in 2023. USS Sirocco PC-6. She is the sixth Cyclone class patrol ship of the United States Navy. Sirocco was laid down 20th June 1992 by Bollinger Shipyards in Lockport, Louisiana. She was commissioned by the Navy 11 June 1994. She is scheduled for decommissioning this year in 2023. USS Chinook PC-9, which is the ninth Cyclone class patrol ship of the United States Navy, contract awarded 19th July 1991 to Bollinger Shipyards. Her keel was laid 16th June 1993. And she was launched on 26 February 1994. She was delivered 7 October 1994 and commissioned 28 January 1995. The USS Thunderbolt PC-12, which is the 12th Cyclone class patrol ship, she was commissioned by the United States Navy on 7 October 1995 and was decommissioned this year. On 22 March 2023. Ex USS Thunderbolt and two of her sister ships were transferred to the Egyptian Navy following transit to Alexandria from the United States. During the transit, both U.S. Navy and the Egyptian Navy participated in bilateral training in preparation of the transfer. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link below to try two weeks for free and see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Also linked in my description or scan the QR code. Aura also monitors your emails and passwords to see if they were involved in a data breach and exposed on the dark web and gives you recommendations on what to do. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls and protects your device from all malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. To start your free trial, click in the link in the description or scan the QR code.